To transport riches to the heart of the empire, the Aztecs constructed a network of superhighways throughout central Mexico. Relay runners were stationed every few miles to create a sort of ancient Federal Express. Messages or goods could be sent 200 miles from the Gulf Coast to Tenochtitlan in just 24 hours, faster than the Postal Service today. With the empire at its height, the Aztecs under Ahuitzotl embarked on their greatest construction project, a massive pyramid at the very center of Tenochtitlan, the symbol of their absolute power. It was called the Templo Mayor, or Great Temple. The base of the pyramid was 240 feet deep by 300 feet wide and rose to a height of 15 stories. There were at least 117 steps in two staircases climbing 200 feet, leading to twin temples to honor the gods of rain and war. The temple was rebuilt on the same location seven times, beginning in 1325 with the city's founding. As the empire grew, so did the pyramid. Each stage was simply built right on top of the stage before. The Temple Mayor was built mainly uh, with a stone called Tezontli, that is uh, volcanic stone. It's a very light weight stone that would uh, prevent the sinking of the, of the temple. For floors and walls, the Aztecs applied a lime plaster, which was a form of concrete. Some examples found today remain as hard as modern concrete, even after 500 years. Aztec workers labored for decades to complete their monument to the gods. The temple remained buried until 1978, when power company workers digging a trench accidentally uncovered a huge carved stone and discovered the temple ruins next to it. The disk, 11 feet in diameter, weighs 8 tons and depicts the dismembered body of the goddess Coyoshalqui.